Hello everyone, welcome to the No Excuses Show, episode 60. And today I have a little friend with me, my new puppy. What's your name, puppy? This is Dragon, everybody. So I wanted him to be on a show with me and hang out with me. He's only four months old and he is such an adorable pitbull boxer mix, right? You are, you are such a funny boy. But anyway, today in my episode, episode 60, I will be talking about journaling. And for those of you who are new to the show, this show is for all of you out there who would like to adopt the mindset of the no excuses. And for those of you who are a badass and for, for those of you who want to become a badass. And in this show, I always give you a real life ideas situations and that help me and my freak family achieve success. So today I really want to talk to you about journaling. And for those of you who've never done journaling, don't even know what it is, I think it's going to be a great beneficial show. So, so uh, l let me uh, let me reverse a little bit and tell you how I started years ago. I started a planning. My plan was to become, to come to America a long, long time ago. I was a young girl. And if you've seen all my previous episodes, you've probably uh, heard, heard the, the story about me coming. But I, at that point, I did not know that what I did, what I had on my wall, and I had a wall, on my wall, I had a, I had a map of America. I had a map of California circling around it. And I did not know that that was my visual board. And I already talked to you about the, uh, you know, visual, visual, visualization, creative visual, visualization, creating the image, uh, emotional attachment with it. So when you, when you, when you want something, you can really, really achieve it. Hi, Pam. How do you like my puppy? Isn't he adorable? He looks so big, but he's really a small puppy. He's only four months old. Very cute, very cute. Anyway, I'm gonna get him down here. So with the, with the, with the planning and journaling, the truth about planning and journaling, and why I mentioned this, what I did, the creative visualization on the wall, is because I was so emotionally attached to it and this was visual right there in front of me every single day. So I was, whatever I was doing, I was doing everything towards that plan. But planning and journaling might be a little bit different, not necessarily creating that, ball, that visual bar in front of you, but planning your day, planning uh, something, planning your life in general, I would say, do you plan your life? Do you journal? Do you, do you, uh, at the end, hi Victor, at the end of your day, do you count your victories? Do you count your blessings? Are you grateful for the things that happened that day in this moment? Or do you do that? If not, guys, this is the time to do this. And the truth about it and why we do this, why we really journal, why we plan, is because we our our brain consists of these two parts, right? That left and the right side. The right side is the side that is creative. That's your side. That's creative side. So when you write, when you plan, when you take a moment out of your day and ask yourself, okay, how do I want my life to look like? What is that that I'm dreaming about? What is my my life's mission. What do I want to achieve? What do I want to accomplish? When you take up, take that moment and start writing and you write in the present tense moment, what happens is through repetition. And if you do this daily, you kind of convincing your left side of the brain, which is more rational side, the side that will be the doubtful side, that will be the side that will be questioning you. Are you doing the right thing? Maybe you're not ready. Maybe you shouldn't start this thing. Maybe you don't have enough knowledge. Maybe you are not completely prepared for it. That's the sign. 
the right side will convince the left side that it's already happening. So why journaling, why planning every day? Imagine doing the same thing over and over again every single day, writing down your main goals in life, writing it down as it happening right now. You not only emotionally attach yourself, but if your plan is to, I don't know, move somewhere. Like our plan was to move to California and we would write it down. I live in California. I live in this, in this house. I have a dog. All this stuff was repetition to the point that it became reality. And some people might say, oh, this is just, this is just like a story from a book. But if you believe in the secret, if maybe you you read the secret, uh, the book, if you've read a lot of books on personal development, you understand journaling. And if you haven't, if you've never done it, I strongly recommend you to start doing it today. So taking a time of your day and think about, are you really being congruent with your mission? Do you, do you really enjoy the life that you have or you want to change this life? And if you want to change your life, what you should be doing? And in my hand, I'm holding my, <laughs> obviously I have my, uh, my planner open, the one that I just created recently. And it's an application and that's what I wanted to to mention to you about that you can have this planner and journal today for only $9.99. We have an amazing special going on today. The regular price is $50. And today you can get this planner for $9.99. Now this planner is a little bit different than any other planner. I've done a lot of planners. I've tried a lot of planners. And what I've realized through coaching clients is that a lot of times when you write, when you journal, you might not have these goals and these dreams in front of you and then you have to grab another, another journal and write it down. Here, in this digital planner, with a click of the button, and I'm gonna show you guys, this is a lot of pages here. I'm scrolling through this. This is amazing stuff. With a click of a button, it's going to take you to a different page because you have these tabs on the side. So what happens is, you hear my puppy, by the way. What happens is you create, you, you answer certain questions before you start the planning. You talk about your life, your dreams, your goals, your passions, your contribution, everything before you really start planning your day. So it prepares you to be consistent on daily basis. And then we go into a scheduled daily planning. What is your 5%? What is that that you need to work on? Because what I've realized is that clients, a lot of people are distracted. Most of us get distraction. Distractions are everywhere. You're being pulled from your live stream a lot of times. For whatever you should, should be doing today, Somebody will call you or will tell you this or will this, the social media will distract you and you step away from what you're supposed to be doing. And when you open this planner, every three hours, you're going to have a self-check-in. And I can't tell you enough and I cannot tell you everything about this planner because the whole idea is to try it today and see if it's going to work for you. But I tell you this, that when you start typing in this planner, there is something happening in your brain. There is that click that happens and you start really asking yourself these deep, deeper questions. What is really, what am I here for? What is the really mission here? My mission on this planet, what I should be doing? What is that that I, I wanted to achieve? And as you're gonna be planning and going throughout your day, you're gonna create your AM routine. Then at the end of the day, you're gonna have your PM routine, your end of the day routine. And you're also gonna have a score for yourself. And the score is our decap, which is the Freak Family Foundation of, hi Pam, thank you. Freak Family Foundation of Discipline, Energy, Confidence, Action, and being your own freak self and what I mean by the freak self 
Because in, in, in today's world, we wanted to fit in, we wanted to be liked, instead of being who we are. Social media runs people's lives. People compare one another. People want to be like someone else. They forget who they really are. Do you really know who you are? Do you really know uh, like what, 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 how different you are compared to others? Or are you trying to be someone else? So in this planner, that will be something that you, it's going to pull you in to be your own true self. To remember to be your own freak self because we are all freaks at some point. Every single, like when you think about it, humans are weird. <laughs> we are weird creatures, you know, we are strange. And, and every single one of us is different. And every single one has something unique and special. And to cultivate this and to really appreciate this on daily basis is so amazing. Not only this will help you live a, a, a better life and happier life, you're going to understand more of yourself. And this is a true gift when you realize who you really are. What do you like? What do you dislike? Uh, uh, how, do you, how are you showing up in today's world? Who, you, who do you really want to be? What are the uh, important things that you want to achieve that day? What is important for you? What, what do you value? And what do you value or want your expectations of others? And as you go through this journal and as you go through that day, you're going to have the evaluation. You're going to evaluate yourself on the decaf. Decaf. And I always say decaf. You know, you can have an amazing, uh, an endless amount of decaf coffee. And that's how you can remember decaf. Endless amount of discipline, energy, confidence, and being your own big self, right? Because there is no side effects on the cuff. And when you get to the end of the day, you're going to also have a question about your day. Were you living in congruency? Were you being in the zone of your genius, which is the green zone? Or when are you running in a zone of anger, resentment, anxiety, stress, in the red zone? Or maybe you are totally in your la-la land when you just go from thing to thing. And I'm not saying that once in a while, maybe when we go on vacation, you wanna be, we want to be spontaneous and just let the day uh, 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 decide what we want to do. But if your every day is like this, when you being pulled by distractions, you're not completing what you're supposed to do, you're not going forward with your mission, and it, it's a la la land, you will never be able to accomplish anything. Like realize, with, even with silly move like this, not only I have to accomplish and complete preparation and move, moving, organize the moving company, pack everything, change the bills and everything else, I have to also stay and, and be in charge and do my coaching sessions, record my videos, do other things at the same time. There was so much on our plate, on my plate, but sometimes more we take and we realize that more we can do. So now imagine if with this move, if I would decide to move and I would not prepare myself for this, that somehow some people just run their life. They're not prepared for anything. They just let the day go by and go through their fingers. Nothing is organized. They promise people uh, certain things. They never deliver. They disorient it. It's, it's just a mess. What kind of life is this? How, remember, a very smart saying, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So uh, how you show up today is really how you show on, uh, showing up to everyone. And are you really happy with the way how you show up? Like a lot of people don't even take full responsibility on the way how they act and how they show up. And they know they're doing, for instance, wrong. They know that they should be doing something else. But yet something is in them and they not fix it. So what it is, what this is, this is really living in an area of excuses staying in the area of living the life of full excuses, lies, and not really being honest. 
So do, do you really want to have a life like this? Or the rather you would want to sit down, evaluate yourself and say, you know what? Today, I really didn't do a good job. But I'm not saying this to make myself feel worse. I am being honest with myself. Today, I didn't do a good job. But I promised myself that tomorrow, I'm going to do a better job. And I'm going to change this, this A, B, C, D, I'm going to change. And this is how the change happens. And when you follow your mission like this, when you start going with the flow and you, when you start doing these things, that's when the change is coming because you become disciplined towards it. You create new habits. But awareness is the first thing of changing everything. Like if we don't live in a stage of awareness, we're going to run into problems. So what planning and journaling is giving you, is giving you awareness, is also creating your dreams a reality. Remember, humans have amazing power to create their dreams into actual things. Why? Like, look around us. Would we be driving the car today? Would you have electricity? Would I be sitting on this comfort comfortable chair? Would I be talking to you through a freaking camera that is this side and broadcast all over the world? Would we go to the moon? It came with an idea. It came with a passion. It came with some kind of emotional connection. Someone having a dream to do something amazing. And that can be you. And I always say this to you guys. Every single person has some unique qualities and if you're not going with it, if you're just going with the motions, the world is missing out on you. And most importantly, you're missing out and the people around you are missing out. Like think about all these amazing people that we have in the world and in, in our lives and the, these amazing influencers, people that changed our lives. If they were not here today, if they, if they never followed their passion, we wouldn't have these things that we have today. But because people follow their passions, follow what they wanted to do, and they are not afraid to take risk, that's when the change happens. So today, again, guys, I am so happy about launching this amazing, amazing journal. All your work is right up front. With a click of the button, you have a view of your week. You have a color coded your week. I created the color codes so you can actually see how you did your, how, how, how you scoring your day and how you scoring your week. Chess, how is the journal going, Chess? I know that you got it. I wanted to hear from you. So, uh, amazing stuff and I strongly recommend you to do it on a tablet. Not do it on a phone, guys. Not do it on a phone because then you have better area, bigger screen to type things. You have self-check throughout the day. You have so many amazing things. You have links that you can follow and you have non-negotiable every day. Imagine what is your non-negotiable? What is the non-negotiable every single day? For me, there are a couple of things. The non-negotiable is for me to get up in the morning. The non-negotiable is for me to have my greens, my aloe in the morning. And the non-negotiable is to have my shake twice a day. Twice a day, my Herbalife shake, and I also take other shakes throughout the day to keep the protein going. My non-negotiable is to play with the kids. My non-negotiable is to give them undivided attention. My non-negotiable is to work out every single day and that's what's gonna happen for you here the non-negotiable with a click of the link a click of the button you're gonna have a high intensity workout for an hour not some other person's workout is the freak family workout those are the workouts that we have created those are our ideas that we put behind we've been in a business for over 20 years so imagine having this this is like the, the journal was never, journal was never done this way. Never. Here, you have everything at one page. So that's so amazing. What, what else is my non-negotiable besides the workouts? Of course, my post-workout. Sitting down with my family for dinner. Now we have this puppy. 
Now he fall asleep, so I can call him. Finally, this dog fall asleep. I mean, this dog is so hyper, he doesn't want to fall asleep. So I have to baby him, hold him on my arms and baby him like a baby. And then when you pat him, he finally falls asleep. But he's a puppy. He's a little boy. So now the non-negotiable, we take him for a walk. We take him for a run. We, we, we play with him. That's the non-negotiable. Non-negotiable is personal development every single day. Half an hour, half an hour, that's what it takes. Maybe reading, maybe studying courses, right? That's the non-negotiable. So what is non-negotiable for you? Do you have non-negotiable? Because if you don't, it's time to change this. Because when you, when you don't have non-negotiables, that means that you do not have a disciplined life. And disciplined life means that it's the easier life. Undisciplined life, that's where we running into trouble and running into chaos because again, you're gonna be pulled in so many different directions. But guys, this journal has been, it took me months to create it. It's available. You can print it out if you want. You can operate on the application. It's great for uh, Apple, pe people who like, who like Apple and who like Samsung operates on two different uh, applications. And it's, it, it, it's for a whole month, for a whole month. So when you finish your month, you can save this particular um, planner and you can start all over again. The only thing is that you're gonna have the same workouts. You're gonna have the same workouts. So, but what we offer you at the end is to uh, sign up with our online courses specifically just for the workouts because that's what we have. We have online application that you can just do it. But guys, again, remember, by taking the time to journal every day, to look at your victories, to take time and pause and think about your day, and go off, off these questions that I have for you daily as a European routine, and going over into your contribution and how you want to lay your life to look like, and that rep repetitive, emotional connection with your right hand to your left side of the brain, you're going to create something that will happen in your life. But you need to visually have it. You need to see it. So either typing it, looking at it every day, writing it down every day, and that's what the journal has. It always go back to your goals. I want you to repeat them. Why? Because that's the emotional connection. That's what we want. We want to be emotionally connected uh, with it. And, and, and when you do that, when you, you're going to start doing everything towards that dream, towards that goal. Guys, again, thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you understood the, the, the benefits of journaling, writing, connecting, and that you purchased this planner today because it's an amazing offer. It's a digital planner. You don't need to carry books with you. Everything is in one spot for $9.99. $9.99 amazing today. Grab yours today and really change your life. Because all of us at the end of the day, we all wanna improve our lives. We all wanted to get better. We all wanted to have something better and, and change something. Even uh, with element of gratitude, because the element of gratitude has to be there. You have to feel thankful what you have, but there is always a next level, right? So again, I will, for those of you who are on Instagram, I see a lot of friends showing up. You can click in my bio, there is a link to the courses and this particular planner is listed. Under the moment that you are gonna appear on a page with our courses, you're gonna have the free journaling daily planner right there and you can click on the button and purchase this planner today and this journal. And I promise you, your day is gonna be organized. You're gonna have more energy. You're gonna have this non-negotiable, which is your workout every single day. Not some inky dinky 30 minutes. It's a 60 minutes of high intensity sessions. This is how we got over 20,000 people in their best shape of their life. And look, I am 45, I'm gonna be 46 this year and I look better than ever. I feel better than ever. So I want to share this with you and I want to help you to achieve the same thing. 
So grab your journal today, grab your toner today, connect to the community because you're gonna have an amazing way of connecting with the community of like-minded individuals who are using the planner and share the input and share the feedback and what you like and, and what else would you like to see in this planner. And there is always room for growth for everyone and we can always change and adapt. Guys, thank you so much again for joining me here today. I will see you at the community with the Freak Daily Journaling and Planner. Talk to you guys soon. No excuses.